Hey, what's going on guys? As many of you know, the eclipse was this past Monday. If you lived in America, you probably experienced it, experienced some portion of it. And I just wanna make a quick little video today uh, talking about something that I want your help with and I kinda wanna take on. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I <laughs> Basically, there was this moment before totality where if you were, and, and, this, and this was like, I, I'm guessing anywhere from like 80% partial eclipse to 99% where the lighting of the sun was it just looked really bizarre there was something very strange about it and this whole like experience sort of fascinated me in a way that I wanted to learn more about that little window of time and what exactly causes that to happen for me it was uh, you know obviously it's like the shadows become sharper. You know, I've heard that talked about before. Your shadows become sharper. The light becomes a little bit dim. It's almost as if somebody has taken the sun and they've just kind of turned it down a little bit. You know, that all makes sense to me. Like as the moon is coming across, light is coming from less directions. Obviously it's always coming from the same general direction, but when the sun is fully, you know, there's no moon in front of the sun or anything, you know, light rays are coming from the sun in all different directions. And when that light is starting to become limited, you're starting to sort of make this singular point in which light is traveling and that obviously makes your shadows sharper so i understand that but for me my experience was that everything in my world it looked like i was looking through this filter like it looked like somebody had put this filter over my eyes almost like an instagram filter in a really like 2017 lame way of of uh explaining this to you guys but it was almost as if there was this filter over my eyes or that i had special colored contacts that everything was just almost this bluish purple tint but very light and it's really really hard to describe it's, it's, I, I've been trying to do some research and looking this up on online and everybody seems to talk about it and, and sort of mention that it's like going to happen but you know, most people sort of focus on totality and what that is, and obviously that's the most amazing thing in the world. But this sort of lighting phenomenon just sort of captivated me early, early on because it felt like I was on a strange planet. And obviously, totality, you feel like you're on a strange planet too, but, but this, this, the lighting was so magical and I wanted to, I don't know, like there's this part of me that's like, I wanna like study that somehow or figure out how to recreate that and make a video with it or something. So what I want from you guys, and this is, I know I've been tweeting, tweeting about this on Twitter the past uh, like 18 hours or something, but if you guys have any photos or video that you've taken during your experience in the eclipse, um, I would really like to see photos and video between that 80% totality and 99%, to, not, not totality, but 80% uh, coverage of the sun and 99%. I, I, I don't, I'm not really interested in pictures or video of totality. Like I've seen hundreds and thousands of that, those at this point. And it's really cool. Like I'm not diminishing that or anything, but this little window of time where the sun was just dimmed down, I'm interested in kind of, I don't know, there's some part in me that wants to learn more about that. And I don't know if that'll result in a future video where I go to some science lab and, and talk to a scientist about this. I don't know. Like I, Maybe, that could be really cool. I'd love to bring that to you guys and present that to you, perhaps. But for right now, for right now, I just wanna see your guys' images and videos of this event. So if you were in an area of uh, partial eclipse in the United States that was anywhere from, like I said, 80 to 99%, I'd love to see your photos and videos of your sort of max partial eclipse, basically, that moment you know, where, where it sort of reached the max or leading up to it. Like if you were in an area that was 95% coverage, but you took some photos at, you know, 92% uh, or something like that. I know it's not exact, but you can go back and look at timestamps of when your location was um, at what coverage or whatever. I'd like to make it clear that I'm not interested in pictures of the sun itself. I'm really interested in pictures of your surroundings. So if you took photos of your surroundings, like if you have a, had a wide angle lens or something, or uh, if you're taking pictures of your shadow or yourself, or um, your friends, your family, stuff like that. Things where I can look at that photo uh, and and you know see the shadows and and or video uh, in that for that matter. That's what I'm interested in. So not not pictures of the sun, not pictures of the eclipse itself, but but more like pictures of the of the sky, your surroundings, um, yourself, friends, animals, you know, friends and family, whatever. Uh, 
That's what I'm interested in. I would love to see those. So if you guys can um, send those to me on Twitter or Instagram or uh, Facebook, that'd be super helpful. But Twitter and Facebook would probably be the best ways to upload those. Uh, I'll put all the links to that down below. And in a future video, if I end up continuing with this and trying to learn more about this um, sort of bluish purple, sharp, super HD looking, washed out color phenomenon that I felt, I'd love to feature some of your pictures and videos, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a scientist or anything, but this is just something that kind of fascinated me. And at the very least, I would love to just see more images like this and see if cameras were really able to kind of capture this look that I experienced. Mine kind of did, uh, my iPhone sort of did, but it, it, it doesn't you know, do it justice until you're there. Anyways, that is all for today's video. Um, I'll throw up some sample images of stuff people have already sent me so far, just for reference, I guess. Um, but I'm really, I'm not interested in, I'm not interested in the sun. So guys, thanks for helping me with this little mini project. I've been really fascinated by this eclipse and um, I don't know, I just thought I would like to do something with it a little bit and see where it goes. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.